understand virtualized clients. In this lesson, you will identify virtualization options, identify remote desktop services, known as RDS, identify Microsoft Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, VDI, and configure Windows XP mode. There are some guiding questions I'd like you to think about during this presentation. What desktop virtualization software is required to use Windows XP mode? What Windows Server 2008 R2 server role was formerly called Terminal Services? And what feature of Windows 7 is used to connect to an RDS server? A virtual machine is software that mimics the performance of a hardware device. Microsoft Virtual PC allows you to create and run one or more virtual machines, each with its own operating system on a single computer. This provides the flexibility to use different operating systems on one physical computer. It also allows you to maintain the compatibility of older and custom applications during migration to a new operating system and increases the efficiency of support development, and training staff. Windows XP mode comes as a separate download and works only with Windows 7 Professional, Ultimate, and Enterprise Editions. VDI is a centralized desktop delivery solution. The virtual desktop uh, infrastructure uh, is centralized because of remote desktop services, which provides centralized desktop and application platform solution that uses session virtualization and the virtual desktop infrastructure technologies. RDS makes it possible to run an application or an entire desktop remotely in one location but have it controlled and managed in another. Some of the benefits include application deployment. Remote desktop services is especially useful when you have programs that are frequently updated, infrequently used, or difficult to manage. Another benefit is application consolidation. Programs are installed and run from an RD session host server, eliminating the need for updating programs on clients. This also re reduces the amount of network bandwidth that is required to access programs. Another benefit is remote access. Users can access programs that are running on an RD session host server from devices such as home computers, kiosk, low-powered hardware, and operating systems other than Windows. RDS, or Remote Desktop Services, is the new name for Terminal Services, and it reflects the expanded role in Windows Server 2008 R2 so that administrators can run the desktop or applications in the data center while users can be anywhere. The concept of VDI, or Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, is to store and run desktop workloads, including a Windows client, applications, and data in a server-based virtual machine, and allow a user to interact with the desktop presented onto a user device via the Remote Desktop Protocol, also known as RDP. VDI is not an isolated architecture, but one of many technologies available to optimize enterprise desktops. The benefits include integrated management. Desktops, virtual machines are managed in the data center and then pushed to client devices. Applications are installed to one image. Enhanced security and compliance, a single point of updates and security management. Access any, anywhere access from connected devices. Increased business continuity, virtual machines can be recovered by restoring a file as opposed to recovering an entire desktop computer due to hardware failures. Virtualization in the enterprise can take many forms. We have a server, for instance, the Hyper-V server. Uh, Windows just released uh, 2012 Hyper-V server, which consolidates the data center by reducing management tasks and it also provides a smaller carbon footprint utilizing less electricity. We have application virtualization, provides centralized managing of applications and pushing them to desktop clients, which reduces management overhead. We also have storage virtualization, which can help introduce levels of redundancy and protection against data loss. We have virtual desktops, 
supporting desktop images and provide a uniform and secure desktop infrastructure in that environment. All provides centralized administration, less power consumption, greater reliability in the end. VDI has several options, including session virtualization, which delivers session-based desktops or applications and is suitable for low complexity or task scenarios. An example would be role-based positions, such as a receptionist, part-time employees, time clock station for workers to punch in and out, or resource kiosk, or a library or resource computer, or a school open lab allows for a high number of users and provides a limited degree of personalization or isolation. Windows XP mode is a desktop application that allows you to support legacy applications that are supported only on Windows XP. You can download XP mode and Windows Virtual PC from the link provided here. So the XP mode download is essentially a virtual machine image to use with the Windows Virtual PC. After the installation completes, you can start XP mode by clicking the Start button, All Programs, Windows Virtual PC, and Windows XP mode. Once you click Windows XP mode, accept the XP mode license agreement and click Next. After accepting the Windows XP Mode license agreement, provide a password for your XP Mode user, which is called XPM User. Click Next on the Update Settings and allow XP Mode to set up sharing on system drives. After answering the initial setup questions, XP Mode will continue setup for first use. This step will take several minutes depending upon the system. Keep in mind that Windows XP Mode is an environment that runs many of your older Windows XP productivity applications by combining Windows XP with Windows Virtual PC. After the installation completes, you should have access to Windows XP. I want to highlight the Virtual PC menu bar. If you look at the top the menu bar, you have Action. If you click the Action button, it provides you the View full screen sleep, restart, and close options for your virtual machine. The USB drop-down allows you to configure externally connected USB devices to connect into your virtual machine. The tools drop-down allows you to disable integration features or modify virtual machine settings. And you also have the Control-Alt-Delete, which allows you to send Control-Alt-Delete to the virtual machine. Here are some lesson review questions I'd like you to discuss with your group. What user account is created when you install Windows XP mode? What are the benefits of VDI? And which editions of Windows 7 support XP mode?